Buddha Boy is a reincarnated Buddha. His real name is Ram Bahaduru Bomjan. He is from the Tibet mountains. Buddha Boy has quickly gained fame and notoriety, but also a cult following that possibly could have been his downfall. The incredible Buddha Boy, the scientific community puzzled after meditating Buddha Boy, goes without food or water for 10 months. This is him when he's a lot younger and he didn't do this practice for a while. Like I think he probably eats now, I assume he'd have to eat. Like I think the only reason he was able to do this is because he was in his constant state of meditation. He does look pretty skinny though. A legend is growing in Nepal, where people say a meditating boy hasn't eaten or drunk in seven months. He barely moves, he just sits under a tree, still as a stone. It's impossible, some say. Is it a miracle, a hoax? Let's find out. So is it possible for humans to not eat or consume water for longer than three or four days? They say it's under question right now. They say he didn't eat food or water for 10 months. That's what they're saying. So during the film, the because he had a movie, the film crew came and they set up cameras for 96 straight hours where they, observe, where they observed his every move or lack thereof. And their observations determined that there were no hidden water pipes or food sources. What they were witnessing through their extensive filming was what some would call a scientific impossibility. So he really did, they believe, meditate for 10 months with no food or water. And that led a lot of people to believe that he is a reincarnated Buddha. So what do Buddhist people think about Buddha Boy? Obviously they think he is Buddha, from what I have understood. So someone asked, do you think he is the incarnation of Lord Buddha? He does not say he is Buddha. But in case you don't know, Nepal is a very poor country. It's one of the poorest countries in the world. If you watch the documentary, it's pretty insane, like how almost, it looks like you go back in time when you go there. Like they walk around, a lot there aren't too many cars and this was from like 2006 so it was almost 20 years ago so we'll go to the video now buddha boy uncovered secret techniques so we're gonna watch some of his techniques and buddha boy is a lot older now he's like 30 now or something to follow him into the inner sanctum the boy uh, belongs to uh Chiku buddhist monastery which is in india in Himachal pradesh and that monastery belongs to the Sakya tradition of tibetan buddhism very little is known of Sakya, one of the four Buddhist traditions. Its leaders keep their teachings a closely guarded secret. Buddha's teaching or our practice is not for your fame, not for your reputation, not to collect so many disciples. We usually don't expose much. They have to be quiet. Another meditator, he has been doing this for the last 30 years. Today, his hairs are so long that he can't stretch down, so he put the small back hanged up behind and then put all the hairs into that. To endure solitary existence in extreme conditions, yogic techniques enable you to focus your mind over your body's suffering. Obviously, if he's genuine, uh, has to use some yogic techniques like feeding on the air, feeding on the breath. Uh, there are other techniques where you use a uh, stone, a okay, little stone that you put in your mouth and you feed on the stone. There are all those stories. They are documented in the literature, in the Buddhist literature. To understand what type of yogic technique Ram is practicing from the Sakya tradition of teaching, the Lama sits and stares at the boy. I'm amazed by this, uh, by this immense, uh, it, the intensity of his determination. He, he told his mother that he was going to sit there for six years and reach Buddhahood, you know, which is very rare. I mean, nobody says that, you know. They sit facing each other for more than an hour in what seems to turn into a meditation duel. Sweat starts to form on Ram's face despite a lack of movement and an air temperature of only 15 degrees centigrade. To suddenly start pouring sweat from the face is a very strange phenomenon. He's managing to control his body's physiological process, which no one has demonstrated before. It's not something you ever see in Western society. And so how that's being controlled is, is beyond my level of knowledge. When he was sitting down, I was doing my meditation. Actually, I was competing. And you know that the sweat came down. So why, why did you sweat? Uh, no, it's a secret thing I don't want to tell you right now. What? That's crazy. And the thing is, though, to become a Buddha, he says to reach Buddhahood, you have to meditate for six years. That's an insane amount of time to meditate, and apparently he must have reached it, because he stopped meditating all that time, and he's a legend in 
Nepal. He's actually on the run, which we're going to get into that in a little bit. <laughs> उसैले मलाई बचायो खै कति समय म बेहोस भए थाहा छैन बिउजिदा म रुक्मुनि थिए बमजन मेरो छेउमै थियो म उठ्न पनि नसक्ने भएको थिए केही समय आराम गरेपछि सञ्चो भएको असलीले बताइन् मलाई सञ्चो भएपछि एक दिन झिस्मेसेमै उसले मलाई राजमार्गको पुलमा ल्याएर छाडिदियो उनले भनिन् बाटोभरि मलाई छुट्टै घर बनाएर राख्ने लोभ देखाएको थियो तर मैले पत्याइन गाडी चढेर घर आए केही समयपछि म साउदी अरब गए so crazy she just like moved on in her life and just went to work at Saudi Arabia after this this sounds like a whole crazy like fairy tale story I'll be honest with you but the, the issue with this these kind of claims is that obviously it's just a claim you know what I mean it's hard to prove this stuff it's really hard to prove this shocking news about the harem sangha how they are being fabricated See, this is kind of proving my point that this could be a lot of be a false, a lot of false accusations and a lot of paid accusations by people to make him seem like a horrible person. 
to make him have a downfall. And clearly, the murder that was from that article they just showed was very false because there was no evidence of it. They just assumed that he could die. But Nepal has tigers. They have many dangerous animals that people could get eaten or they could have a lot of different things happen. They even said they had political turmoils there, so there could be bad things like that. People could be held hostage, but they all want to blame the guru. ไอ้เนี่ยพ่อไอ้ละนิสันเดกโหนิสันเดบจะอันนี้ปัจจุบันตรการเลยปัจจุบันตรการบลายระเอาไว้เนาะสมนันกอเรกอ่ะปัจจ
I think there could be some fabricated cases as in the situation where the guy's father left and they just assumed it was Buddha Boy's fault. So I'm going to end this.